If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Vivek and I'm a financially independent algo trader. This channel is all about building a community of algo traders. We discuss everything about algo trading using Python, building and practicing trading strategies, market updates, and much more. Please do visit our community website, fabtrader.in. Also do check out my other YouTube channel, FabWealth, where I talk about my own financial independence journey and share tools, methods, and strategies that help me achieve my financial freedom. Thank you. Previously, I had uploaded this video about downloading NSE data from the new NSE website using Python. If you haven't watched this video, please do so. You might ask, there are already a number of Python packages that download NSE data, and do we really need another one? Right, well, there is a real need for it. I'll, I'll explain why. NSE, as you know, constantly update their website, and due to this, the API endpoints keep changing. However, most of the Python packages that you see on GitHub don't keep up with these updates. So either most of the packages stopped working already or don't have, do not have all the functionalities that we normally look for. And that's the reason I thought I'll put this utility together. As part of my commitment towards this community, I'm not only going to keep the script updated with any changes to the NSE website, but I'll also keep enhancing it to include other new things in future. In this video, I'll talk about one of the recent announcements I made to the utility. And it's all about fetching the insider trading, or sometimes it's called the promoter trading data from NSE website. Um, so what is this insider trading data? And uh, you know, let's take a deeper look. Every trader uh, looks for an edge, some sort of an information that will help him give him or her an advantage over others in making better returns, right? So some people use fundamental analysis and some use technical analysis to get this edge. However, those alone is not going to be enough, right? Uh, it is exactly at this point in time, the, ins tra the insider trading disclosures come into play. As you might know, the NSC has strict regulations around insider trading, and it is mandatory for promoters or directors or any significant shareholders uh, to declare their buying or selling of their own company stocks, right? Um, so, so you might ask, why is this information so significant? What does it mean for me? Well, this information is crucial because it gives you the smart money signals. Usually, uh, the insiders know something about the company that we public don't know uh, much about. So by watching carefully what they are doing, you can deem a lot of insights on where that particular stock is going to go. Not just that, there are a number of clues and insights you could get from this data. And I know for a fact because most of my friends who are into fundamental analysis and long-term investing use this data like gold. To keep this length of the video overall short, I, I will refrain from talking about the intricate details on how to use these details. Um, I've already covered that uh, in detail in the blog article, so I urge you to you know kind of go through this, uh, and I'm sure that you won't be disappointed. It has uh, a lot of information on how to use this data effectively in your decision making. So I'm hoping this particular update will be useful to people who specifically look for this type of data. In this video, I'll share with you the simple Python script um, that'll, that can download this data from the NSE website. Let's now jump into the Python utility. Um, don't have to worry, all of this is already provided in the blog. You can simply copy this code and uh, use it as you wish. Uh, the script has, there are two main scripts here. Uh, the nsutility.py, this is the, the main script, which contains the, the class and all the functions uh, that download various data from the NSE website. And uh, this sample, is just to explain to you how the insider trading data can be downloaded. So all you need to do is just import the NSE utility. First of all, this, this particular file, you just need to copy this as nseutility.py within your source root. Once that is done, all you need to do is just import that file and you create an instance of the class, which is NSE, uh, which is part of the, the, this is the class and this is the instance that is created. Once that is created, rest is all simple. All you need to do is just type NSE dot and then invoke this particular method, which is get insider trading. And then when you run the script, you get the entire uh, pandas data frame, which is what you actually see on the NSE website, right? So this contains all the information that you need on insider trading. So there are two variations. One is if you don't give any parameters and then if you download, it downloads the last 30 days worth of uh, you know insider trading data. Uh, whereas you can also give a specific start and an end date and it'll only provide you data within this particular date range. So these two options are available for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I have a few more announcements that I've done for this uh, utility, which I'll be covering in the, the videos to come. Uh, I hope you like this. If there are any comments, feedbacks, or suggestions, please do leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. If you genuinely found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you soon in another video. And until then, take care and happy trading.